Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing the issue while launching the game GTA 5. You got an error. Support for Windows 7 and Windows 8 has ended even if you have installed Windows 10 or Windows 11 in your system. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and directly proceed with the resolution. First of all, in the basic step, head over to settings menu, choose Windows update and if any kind of update is pending at your end, choose the option download and install to make your operating system up to date. Nextly is you need to open the directory of the Rockstar Games Launcher where you have installed. By default, it is in C drive, Program Files, Rockstar Games, Launcher, scroll down and here you will find Launcher, Launcher Pencher, Rockstar Service and Rockstar Steam Helper. What you need to do is to right click on each of the option, go to the properties, click on compatibility tab and if this option is check mark, uncheck it and check mark this option. Run this program as an administrator. Hit apply, OK button. Do the same with launcher patcher also. Compatibility, uncheck this option and check mark this particular option. Third one is Rockstar service, compatibility, admin mode and steam helper also. Compatibility, administrator, hit apply and OK button. Now after doing these changes, again click on Rockstar games folder open social club folder and you need to do the same with social club helper. Right click properties, compatibility, uncheck this particular option and check mark this option. Hit apply and ok button. Now once you have done these three changes, close it. Now go ahead and try to launch the game to fix out the issue of support for Windows 7 and Windows 8 has ended. If this method failed to work out, let's proceed with the next step. In next step, first of all, you need to launch your Rockstar Games Launcher. Click on it and launch the Rockstar Games Launcher into your system. Wait for it to connect with the Rockstar Games services into your system and if there is any kind of update, wait for it to completely update. Now once the update is completed, go ahead and log in using your user ID and password onto the Rockstar Games Launcher. Now once you are logged in and Rockstar Games is running into your system, you need to open the game directory. To open the game directory, if you are using Steam, launch the Steam, go to the library, right click on your game, choose option properties. Now here under the install files, click on the option browse to open the game directory. If you are using Epic Games, launch the Epic Games launcher, go to the library, click on the three dot icon next to your game, choose the option manage. And here click on this folder icon to open the game directory. At my end, the game is available my at my end, the game is installed in my this PC, F Drive, Rockstar Games, GTA 5. Here scroll down and you need to find an exe file with the name play GTA 5. What you need to do is to once you launch the Rockstar Games launcher and it is running into your system, right click on your play GTA 5 option and choose the option run as administrator. As soon as you launch the game using this executable file, you will be able to launch the game and the issue of GTA 5 support for Windows 7 and Windows 8 has ended will not occur at all. And however, if it is still persist, the last hope you have is to do a clean installation of Windows 10 or Windows 11. And if you do not know how to do a clean installation, I have a dedicated tutorial for this particular installation. Watch this tutorial and why after watching this tutorial, you will be able to easily install Windows 10 or Windows 11 in your system without any kind of error. Only after doing a clean installation, you will be able to launch the game if method 1 and 2 doesn't work out for you. So as of now, this is all about it friends. If this video works out for you, I request you to please click on subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.